Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I am known as the Opinionated Horsewoman. I so much appreciate you stopping by. Um, tonight we're going to do my Masked Monday video and I'm shooting it in advance um, because I, I'm so busy during the week. Uh, and it's really hard for me to get anything uploaded in a fairly quick fashion. Uh, I live out in the woods, uh, not really the woods, I call it the woods, but I live out in the sticks. Um, I live out in the country on a farm, hence my name, Opinionated Horsewoman. And our internet options are not great, so my uploading capacity is uh, extremely slow. So. Yeah, it's going to be our my Masked Monday video, and a lot of the ladies in the beauty community do this, so uh, I thought I'd join in the fun. And tonight, I'm going to use this Ruby Sheet Mask from Vitamasks. Um, it says, Recharge Mine and Restore Skin, made with Ruby Stone Powder and Goji Berries. Um, Four-in-one therapy, it says, Gemstone Therapy, Aromatherapy, Skin Therapy, and Color Therapy. <laughs> Uh, it is Korean. It's Korean technology. It's Korean beauty. That's what it looks like. Um, but before we get into it, I had a couple of my subscribers ask me about how I was doing uh, after using the most recent um, chemical peel that I purchased. And I will link that video up here. I purchased off of Amazon a 90% lactic acid peel. And I did do the peel um, today to Saturday night. And I did the peel on Thursday night. And um, so my lovely YouTube subscriber, Tanea, had asked me how I was doing um, with the peeling. And I was like, oh, you know, I generally only micro peel. Well, tonight I went and washed my face to prepare for the video and doing my mask. And I am actually pretty much peeling everywhere to the point of where um, you probably wouldn't see it without like getting a little bit closer to me. But my forehead is totally peeling. And I can feel along my cheeks that are really peeling. My neck, not so much. And I did do the peel on my neck. Um, but I definitely, I concentrated the peel when I applied it. Um, I have a lot of sun damage down here. And I concentrated the peel here and on my forehead. And I, <laughs> if you could feel this, it feels like sandpaper. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. But I'm definitely peeling on my forehead. And I'm, I'm definitely peeling here. And I'm most excited for the fact that I have a really bad sunspot on this cheek. And it's really peeling off. So I'm hoping that that sun damage will continue to exfoliate as I continue to do peels um, periodically to try to get rid of some of that sun damage. So I'm thrilled. I definitely saw this, um, this big sunspot here is really peeling off. So... I'm so happy for that. So, Tanea, thank you so much for the question. And I can actually tell you, I am I am peeling. And I don't know that you can see it real well. But um, it's more than a micro peel. I'm definitely, like, I've definitely got some flakes and some peeling going on. So, um, thrilled. Thrilled that lactic acid peel is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Um, I'm not red and nothing hurts. But I'm getting that peeling going on. So, I'm happy about that. That's another reason why I am doing um, a face mask tonight is a little extra love and care for my, my face. So again, it's the Ruby Sheet Mask Vitamasks. This came in a box and I can't remember which one, um, but this will be fun to try. So I'm going to put this on and then I have another actually um, something that came in the mail that we um, actually fits in nightly, nicely with the theme today. Here's the mask, and there's a lot of serum on it. So let me get this going. Um, whoo, it's really full of serum. The only thing that I have trouble with these sheet masks is I have to be you have to be so careful you don't rip them because they're so delicate and they're so wet. So here we go. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. Ooh, it feels so nice. I love sheet masks. Um, I think my number one complaint with this particular sheet mask right off the get-go is I can smell it is loaded with fragrance, which is really not great to be putting on your, on your face. <laughs> so uh, this would not be one I would repurchase specifically because of that, but you know, it's okay. I can handle it. I don't have like major um, allergies, so... 
I just don't want to develop major allergies and fragrance can be really irritating to the skin. So, you know, it did say in here aromatherapy. So I kind of knew that was coming. Um, I just didn't know it would be this potent. Um, it's quite strong. It could be the goji berry that I'm smelling, but it kind of has like a rosy scent to it. So I'm just looking here to see in, under the ingredients um, if there is like a rose in here. So let me quickly look and see glycerin there's alcohol in here which i'm not real thrilled about but it feels really good on the skin i do have to say um bunch of fruit extracts in here um there's a chamomile in here chamomile flower um i'm not seeing the rose so maybe it is a goji berry i'm smelling um there is a a type of flower oil in here but i'm not real familiar with that so a bunch of fruit extracts and stuff. So that's probably just the combination I'm smelling, but it feels really actually quite nice on the skin. I just love doing sheet masks. Um, if you guys are, are new and you haven't seen, I actually had a bit of a, I went a little bit crazy for Black Friday slash Cyber Monday weekend and I ordered a ton of sheet masks from Boutique and I'll link that video up here. But yeah, I went a little crazy and I ordered a ton of sheet masks and did like a mega haul. So a lot of fun. But OK, so I got something in the mail today that I am really excited to share with you guys. And it actually fits in with the theme of Masked Monday. So let's just go ahead and open it up. Cute mailer, right? Pink. So the company that I got this from is called Blinged Brushes. <laughs> This is an order. I like stayed up one night. They were, they started a, um, a really good, like, I think it was like a 50% off sale and it started at midnight, um, on a Saturday night, I believe it's either Friday or Saturday night. And this, this stuff sells out like crazy. So, um, that's it. The, uh, and you guys know, so I work full time in an office such situation during the pandemic, we have to wear masks. So I got some 50% off bling masks from blinged brushes. I'm super excited at how cute they are. So I got a gray, a pink, and two white. I thought these would be super fun. I own a bunch of masks, you guys, but I wear them about 10 hours a day. I work a nine hour shift, plus you've got breaks in there for lunch and stuff. So I'm in them like at least nine and a half hours of the day. And you really need to change your mask out throughout the day because as they get wet from your breath, they're no longer as filtering as they should be. So these are gonna be a lot of fun. Um, they're just, you know, if we have to wear a mask, they, they might as well be beautiful, right? So let's go ahead and open one of these because I'm going to have to open them and I will wash them before um, I start using them. And I really like these um, masks. They were, so they're originally $20 a mask, but they, um, with their 50% off sale, they were down to $10 a mask. And I just like the fact, for one, they have the pocket in here where you put a filter and for me it's so important we have over 100 people in our office building um that that are in there and so it's for me it's really important to be able to put an uh, uh n95 filter and here's here's what they show it's the pm 2.5 filters uh, i have a bunch of extra ones of these i ordered like 40 or 50 extras of these because they don't last forever and i mean this one already came installed in here it's all kind of, you know, I'll have to take it out and, and let it flatten out. But for me, I usually double up on these and put at least two filters in here, but, uh, and I have extra, so it's not a problem. So each one of these masks comes with one of the filters. Um, and like I said, I have extras, but these are really, really nicely made masks, super like nice stretch to them. They have the um, stretchy for the ears and then the ear, um, they've got an adjuster on them so you can make it fit your face a little bit better and then they're ergonomical so they can tuck on your chin and then over your nose so they feel really really nice and they feel like you know the thing is is you want your masks to be thick enough that they are filtering out some stuff um, so they're obviously double ply with the pocket for the filter in here this particular um, 
fabric that the little blingies are stuck on it feels quite thick which is good and then this pocket material feels like um like a thick t-shirt material so it's stretchy it's got some give and stretch which it needs to have it's very soft which is good um but it feels somewhat thicker so i really really was excited to get these add them into my rotation of masks that i use um because you know i go through a lot of them and i you know i do wash these between uses i mean you really need to be that's just part of you know like avoiding the the covid is you know using proper filters using proper masks i mean this is not an n95 but it's nice and thick keep it tight to my face and we've had cases of covid in our office and i've never contracted it we've never thankfully never had anybody pass it to another employee um so knock on wood um i'm trying to do my best to stay safe so i think these are so cute i love I love the quality. They do feel so nice. The stitching is really nice on these. Like I said, they're, they're very stretchy, so they're going to, you know, they're going to be a lot more comfortable. I do have N95 masks and they just, they stick to your face, which is what they're supposed to do, but they almost dig into your skin and they're not quite, they're not as flexible as this. You know, this will be tight on my face but it won't dig into my skin like hard because it's softer. So like I said, it's nice that the ear pieces adjust and then you can always make some sort of um, go between to pull these back off your ears if you're getting sore ears. So I have a couple things that people have made for me. Um, they've like crocheted or knitted them. You can also use like pretty much anything. People are using paper clips behind to kind of pull and um, I don't do too bad right now, but I, I love the look of these. They're so fun. They're so pretty. Like I said, I ended up getting two white ones and I didn't know, like, it was really late at night, you guys, when I ordered these. I didn't know which color I should get two of. They had blue um, and they had black, but black had already sewn out, sold out. Um, and the blue, I just, I don't wear a ton of blue, so I didn't think it would work. And I thought the white, I have two of the whites. Um, for one, if I needed to bleach them, I could bleach them, but they just go with everything. White goes with everything. I would have loved to have bought black, but they just they didn't have it in stock. So, and the pink is very girly, and I love wearing pink. So, a couple of my other masks are pink. So, I thought you guys would really enjoy this. Um, here is a care card from, like I said, Blinged Brushes. This is their care instructions on these masks. It says, your new blinged face mask is handcrafted with hundreds of the finest quality rhinestones. And they are. They're lovely. They're so pretty. I mean, that, that's pretty. Um, because your face mask is unique and handcrafted, it requires extra care. To ensure your face mask withstands many washes, be sure uh, to follow these steps. Preferred method of washing is to hand wash in cool or warm water. And I would say not cool because the idea is that if you do get any particles of virus on here, warmer water with soap is going to kill it faster than cold water. But soak the mask for three minutes or less with a small amount of soap. And I have like a big salad bowl that I fill up with some um, liquid uh, fabric soap. And then I just submerge everything in there and just let them marinate for a while. So that's what it says. It's a preferred to hand wash in cooler warm water, soak the mask for three minutes or less with a small amount of soap. An alternate method would be machine wash on gentle or hand wash cycle in a cooler warm water. Um, wash them separately or in separate garment bags with other co like colored items. And sometimes I will do that. Um, I will put these into, I actually put them in like two or three garment bags to really pad them up. Um, so that they don't and then put them on a very gentle cycle but it says do not use bleach vinegar fabric softener or hot water with either methods uh, drying method would be to hang or ear dry it does say you can tumble dry on low i don't know why you would want to tumble dry these i hang them overnight and they're dry um, you know the, the rhinestones aren't going to last on here very long if you do a lot of like machine washing or putting it in the tumble dry in your dryer so it does say do not use an iron high heat or fabric softener sheets so you know, probably the best thing would be to hand wash these and uh, and hang them hang them dry. But um, you know, if you're going to start getting makeup residue on here, that's not going to come off very well with hand washing. So my suggestion would be to try to invert them. Like I said, I put them in a couple garment bags so that they are um, protected as protected as possible. Some soft garment bags. 
you know, you can always make a, a garment bag with like a pillowcase, but I will hand wash all of these for their first use. And uh, yeah, I think they're pretty fun. You know, 10 bucks a mask is a lot, but these are normally priced 20 and uh, I wasn't going to spend that, but I was super excited to get these on their 50% off sale. I thought it was such a good deal. And if you guys have never checked out Bling Brushes, their website, go to blingbrushes.com. They have the most beautiful sets of makeup brushes you have ever seen. They're so gorgeous and um, they're nice quality. Everybody raves about them. So um, they are out of, it looks like Georgia. Um, again, the website is blingedbrushes.com. All one word. Um, yeah. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I'm loving this mask. It feels so nice. Um, let me see what the instructions say for how long I can leave it on. Um, it says 20 minutes and then there is a, lo a little extra serum in here. You know, this is pretty goopy mask that I will squeeze up and apply to my face and really like let that marinate and, and soak into my face. Um, you know, I, I'm still smelling the, the perfume, the fragrance in here. Um, but you know, it's not horribly overwhelming, but obviously if they're being right by my nose, I can smell it. Um, it's a cute mask. I, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of putting fragrance, um, soaking fragrancy stuff into your face. Um, people, a lot of people end up with like really big skin problems and a lot of it's due to fragrance. You get a lot of people who are getting like rosacea or eczema, all kinds of irritation triggered. And a lot of times it's, it's the fragrance. Sometimes it's the chemicals in the products they're using. Um, there are some stuff, chemicals that can produce some pretty nasty reactions. Um, one of them is like found in just about any sudsing soap, sodium lauryl sulfate, really bad stuff. Um, can cause some really, really, really bad reactions on your skin. Um, and it, anything that has sudsing to it, you're going to find that in there. But yeah, fragrance is, in my opinion, a big no-no to be putting into skincare, which is why I've talked about in other... Um, other videos, specifically my Glossy Box unboxings. Um, actually, I have a product of theirs right here. Um, they gave us a sample of their their brand new skincare line. I got the three in one moisturizer, and um, I like this, but it has a pretty like distinct fragrancy smell to it. So it definitely has some perfume in it. And I'm real reluctant to use like a daily moisturizer that's loaded up with perfume. So I use it every now and then, but I don't use it very often. I mean, it will eventually get through this, but uh, I don't want to have allergic reactions and stuff um, because it can take a long time to for your skin to recover from that. And, um, you know, it can affect your whatever you wear it can affect your moisturizers and serums you use and it can affect your makeup use um to the point of where maybe you can't wear makeup for quite a long time so i just that's one of the things that scares me but i i mean i have to say this does feel really nice the serum feels good on the skin um you know it is korean um it is a, a made in korea it is korean skincare and it's vitamasks again that's that's it. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the surprise, the uh, opening of these pretty face masks. Again, this is Blinged Brushes. Uh, blingedbrushes.com. If you want to look at these, if you want to splurge and purchase one or two of these for yourself, I, I wouldn't blame you. They're beautiful. And you know, if we're going to be wearing masks, we might as well look beautiful in them, right? And, and wear beautiful masks. So yeah. Thanks guys so much. I hope you're having a great Monday and uh, I appreciate you all checking out this video. Before you go, if you can give this a thumbs up uh, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would click that red subscribe button down below and right next to it is a bell. If you click that bell and shade it in, you will be notified of all my new uploads. So like I said, thank you guys so much. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and I will see you on the next video. Bye everybody. Thank you.